So for these numbers, we're just going to do prime factorization. We'll start with 120. It's also called the factor tree, and you can find the GCM slash GCD or LCM slash LCD, basically doing the same things. Um, so 120 is even, so we're going to divide it by 2. That would be 2 times 60 is 120. 60 can be further subdivided um, by 2. So that's 2 and 30, basically 2 times 30 is 60. And 30, you guys know the drill by now, I think. We're just going to keep going. And then 15 is kind of funky because it's an odd number, but we have 3 and 5 as the prime factors. So I'm just going to circle all the end nodes here. And that looks like uh, 120 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. If you're more sophisticated, you would write 2 cubed times 3 times 5. But whatever way you do it is, is totally cool. Okay, so 345, let's do this one. Immediately, uh, 5 comes to mind, and I'm thinking, my gosh, what is 5 into this? So 5 into 30 goes 6 times 45. Okay, okay. so I think it's uh, 5 and 69. 69 can be further subdivided into 3 and 33? No. No. 3 and 23. Oh, my gosh, my math. Okay, so... This one ends rather abruptly, uh, so 345 is going to be 3 times 5 times 23. Um, and there's no fancy way of writing that because they're, they're all, all these terms are just appearing once. So the two ways to do it, we can write them one above the other. Um, 120 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Some people may consider this primitive. Um, and, and when I say primitive, I, I don't mean anything condescending or judgmental. It's just it is primitive, but it's if it's effective, hey, I'm going to use it. So uh, it looks like they only have 3 times 5. So the, the GCF or GCD of these two numbers, um, and if you want to write it officially, it's 120 comma 345 of these two three-digit numbers would be 3 times 5, which is 15. So you probably just want to circle that 15. Um, that's basically the, the best way to do that. So let, let, let's go to the other one. I mean, there are other ways too. I, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to start a fight on the internet, um, but it, it's, it's pretty dang good. Okay, so 120 being an even number, let's go 2 and 90. Because 2 goes into 180 90 times. Um, 90 can be further subdivided. It's an even number, so 2 and 45. 45 is cool. Uh, it goes 5 and 9. And 9 goes 3 and 3. So we're just going to circle the end nodes there. And then so we can write 180 equals 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 or 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Um, the second way is a little better visually to do it, but um, purists are going to say, no, no, we need to write 2 squared times 3 squared times 5. That's the proper way of writing things, McSweeney. So, uh, you know, if you're stuck in the uh, in that, you're stuck in that. Okay, 420 um, divisible by 2. So that's 2 and 210. 210 is also a tour, so that's 2 and 105. I'm going to guess 5 goes into this thing um, 21 times, and 21 goes 7, oops, 7 and 3. Circle the end nodes here. And then so we have 420 equals 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7. I'm just putting it in ascending order of factors. You can do it any way you wish. Um, or you could write, oop, oop. Oh, ran out of ink. How does this happen on the internet? I got to pay my ink bill one day. Okay, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And I'm just going to write the other one uh, beneath that. That's the uh, the 180 was the 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And I'm going to circle what's in common. We've got those 2s. We've got that 3. We've got that 5. So it looks like 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. That's going to be 4 times times 15 if that's correct that's 60 yeah 60 sounds right so um officially the answer would be uh not lcm gcf of 180 comma 420 equals 60 and, and if you want to be all fancy you could write two squared times three times five but this should suffice again you're in the room with your teacher instructor or online with your teacher instructor you find out which way they like it and present it to them that way
Good luck in your mathematical endeavors, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.